is I want to show you guys how to make a cutoff that looks like you bought it that way to where you can wear it. You don't have to wear it to the gym. It doesn't have to look like a slutty, slutty. Whoa. It doesn't, like, <laughs> whoa. It doesn't need to look like a sloppy. <laughs> oh my God. It doesn't need to look like a sloppy. That's what I meant. Sloppy cutoff that you see like an average gym bro wearing with like the little jagged edges too close up here or too wide or the sides are way too low and you're just con or you're just constantly seeing some nip slips. So I want to create consistency for you guys to where you then you have a cutoff that is dope and you can wear it no matter the occasion whether it's going to the pool or whether it's just hot outside and you want to wear a cutoff or i mean whatever your heart desires and you can do it with confidence that you're not going to ruin the shirt when you put a shirt down and you're ready to cut it it takes five minutes to do but i want to preface before you begin before i start the tutorial you need to be 100 percent present yes this only takes five minutes to do but it takes attention to detail and it's going to take you a steady hand with your scissors and speaking of scissors you need a good pair of scissors. I started to cut this batch of, I have a batch of about 25 shirts that I was going to cut, but I went to start the tutorial and I had a pair of scissors that were, I'd had for about a year. I tried to resharpen them, didn't work. And so I had to go to Home Depot and get a new pair of scissors because if you have a blunt pair of scissors, everything I show you doesn't matter. You need a pair of scissors that can just run right through. So I highly recommend before you start cutting on a shirt, test it on a part of the shirt that it doesn't matter. Maybe on the end of the sleeve or things like that. If you're already gonna cut the shirt, just make sure you test it and it should just glide through because you're gonna see in one of the steps is you need that scissor just to glide you need confidence and you need consistency there's no stopping when you start the cut so so want to preface that is something you're most definitely gonna need and none of this stuff matters so I highly recommend I bought a pair of scissors at Home Depot for like 12 bucks or something like that and they're absolutely amazing and so let me know in the comments below have you struggled with making cutoffs like have you like me ruined a ton of shirts do you uh, do you see the gym bro or you ever been the gym bro with the little jagged edges or cut it too far in with all the nip slips. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever struggled with this. So if you're excited for learning how to make a perfect cutoff to consistency, not ruining any more shirts, because damn it, I've done that so many times, please give the video a thumbs up. If you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button. So I'm gonna stop rambling on, let's get into today's video. <laughs>
is gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys can see how easy it is to make the perfect cutoff, something that stands the test of time, something that looks like it came like this, and something that you can wear confidently no matter in the gym or out in everyday life. And so if you enjoyed today's video, please give the video a thumbs up. If you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button. It's a little bit different type of content. So remember, let me know in the comments below if you ever struggled with making your cutoffs. Remember, tag me on IG whenever you use the tutorial and you make these cutoffs. So then I will put it up on my story, show you some love, and then send more people to the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you guys, appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Ho!